it is really important that we, we make sure that we have an idea, not just an outline, but an idea of what it is that we're actually doing and, and, and have a, a blueprint for that. Um, mm -hmm. It's so much more than just um, supplements. It's not that's what I really want everyone to understand and then really understand the business model that we're going to be doing that's going to be du we're going to duplicate. Uh, anything successful, whether it's in research and in, in, uh, development, is only valid when you can replicate it. So that's what this is all about. So today what I want to do first is kind of explain to you why we're here, right? So for me, I've only been doing this, what, maybe a month. Um, but within a month's time, we've already taken off. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is we have literally created a paradigm shift here in the city of Chicago that is not only powerful, but it is catchy. And what I mean by catchy is people are hearing it and they want to be part of it. Um, and because of that, we have to be careful with how we present it and how we understand it. Um, for me, my, my vision is within 18 months to make choices. Um, to literally be able to wake up and say, I'm going to go get on a plane and maybe go to New York or go see family in Macedonia. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this also because I uh, took on two kids. I took a lease on life, uh, literally two kids who don't have a legit father. So now that's who I am. So someone has to create a savings plan for them to go to college. Um, and that's me. So there's a lot of whys for me. Um, and so far, we have literally created uh, this spark that really, I think, turned into a massive explosion really quickly in just a month's time. The way in which we have presented, we've had people kind of courting us and bring, trying to bring us into their buildings. So what I mean by that is, is people are hearing what we do, and they want us there. They want us to be their amenity. They want us to be the people in there uh, providing services to their residents. Um, this vision started with me about seven years ago when I was doing corporate health and wellness. I was also doing concierge style fitness, but I never had the human capital to follow through with it uh, as much as I wanted to. Um, so today it's just phase, it's phase one of three more uh, business models that we're going to really be having your mind around. This is a go-to-market ready, so that once we teach you this, this is going to not only create an elevator pitch for you, it's going to create a business model in your head and where you fit in it, so that you can uh, literally take this and within six weeks start making some really, really big changes in your life. Um, but patience is the key here. Um, so we're going to start off with Mary and Jay kind of talking about finding the individual strengths that each one of you guys have. And I want you guys to share that too because it is we, we do want a participation in that because that's going to help us figure out how we maximize you. We already have our ideas on that, but I want to hear kind of what you would like kind of out of this as well in terms of being able to be your own boss and being able to be part of this bigger thing that – is going to allow you to do so many more things. Um, so right now, think of it in terms of if best case scenario in life. Now, don't even think about this in particular. Think about if you could have your best scenario, what would it look like? What are your strengths that you would apply to anything in life, not just here? Because that's going to flush itself out when we start going through the business model, okay? So I'll go ahead. Yeah, sure. Uh, can I use this? Okay, awesome. So. Um, what's cool is we have a really well-rounded team so far. Uh, we have a lot of people who are doing great things in what they love. Um, a lot of people who are following their passions. Um, and I was speaking to Emma, um, I know you're on, but we were talking about earlier how a passion turns into a survival, meaning um, even though we, we got into a field because we love it so much, at a certain point, it turned into we have to do it because now we're, our lifestyle is really dependent on it. So what we want to do is take these passions that we have and really create it in a way where uh, we're building a team and an organization around it so that just like Alex was saying, in 18, you know, 24, 36 months from now, 
you have the ability to make choices. So what's cool is right now we have pretty much one person or two people in every area that are like, can be like the, really like the team leader in that area. So um, we have a few people's names written out on these boards over here. I don't know if you wanna like kind of scoot it over. So right now what we're doing um, is we're implementing this in moment for our first really big building, right? Um, and we're doing it step by step in a strategic way so that as we're doing it here, we can use this as an example of how to really just duplicate the building over and over again. Um, so right now, we are starting off with a few workouts in um, the building. We're starting off with like a dance class, a HIIT training workout. Uh, we're doing pop-ups, we're doing a challenge. Uh, we'll include Emma into doing maybe like a, a massage therapy sessions within the building. So what we wanna do for our whole team, there are gonna be people who can bring certain strengths to how we're really implementing it into moment first. So that way when we go into the next building, we can find people, we can teach along the way to do the same thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, uh, Island, Island is here. I don't know if you guys can see her. This is Island. Um, you guys can't, Hi. you can't see Kat. And hey. <laughs> They're on too. Um, I really wanted to <laughs> meet each other also because everyone's been, um, been going, been invited to this meeting on purpose because we're all really aligned. We're all really um, passionate. We're all really similar and we all really trust each other. So I think it's a, a great way to um, just start off strong as a team. Um, Island is, um, work, has been working with Alex uh, through per personal training. Um, she has some amazing results so far, but also some amazing goals that she really wants to accomplish. Um, so we can start off with going through Island, like how do you really see yourself being um, like a pillar on our team, like what you see her doing with moment, like where uh, you want to be involved the most, and then we can kind of write that out so we can really kind of highlight all the strengths. Is that what you- That's exactly okay, cool. So, oh, I need about six inches <laughs> on me to do this. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's just adjust it. So, um, I know your goals. Um, just um, visually, with what we were talking about with your Instagram, like how you kind of foresee like you in like fitness. Yeah. But I don't know if you want to go into a little bit of detail about that, um, and then talk a little bit about your marketing and like maybe um, what do you call it? Like I don't know if it's photography or like yeah. Marketing. PR marketing. PR marketing. Yeah, PR marketing. Yeah. So I really want to be um, like head of like the PR and media outreach aspect of this operation because that's like where my uh, background is in. I graduated mass communication, so I know exactly how like Instagram works, Twitter, like social media definitely, and uh, I do production work, so videos and like, shop I'm really um, good at. Um, and so with that, I also want to, like, for personal goals, I want to, like, be an example for how, like, this lifestyle can be great for everyone. And um, whether you're an athlete before or never was an athlete, you know, anybody can get into shape. And so that's what I really want people to know is that you don't have to be, like, in the sports world to have a great body or have goals for your body. So... That's what I really want people to know, and that any like um, body goal you have, you can reach. Yeah. I had one goal called like hashtag one pull up, and yes. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go all over everywhere as soon as I do it. So Perfect. yeah, okay, I love it. So um, I can come up with a few ideas of how um, with what we've done so far, with like pop ups and um, just meetings and everything, how I can see you as an asset. Yeah. But what do you think? Um, I mean, we can all come up with ideas. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think you would like to to do with the building specifically? Like with the like um, influencing the program mm -hmm. or yes. yeah, the whole yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, I definitely want um, to uh, like be part of the, like the PR stuff, so like okay. getting the word out there, letting mm -hmm. people know about it, and um, I guess like. Yeah, whatever PR you have in mind, I would totally be up for. So, um, 
with PR, does that mean like more Fire, communication so. with Tracy, like communication? Well, I think it's, it's the building and it's also Chicago wide okay. yeah. in terms of, hey, this yeah. is what we're doing. We are coming in as a wellness center into a luxury building. Yeah. Really start coining the term live many so we own that. Live That's many. us. Oh, okay. So that now we talk about this Chicago land base. Now people are going to say, oh, this team does this. Yeah. So, um, so owners was that, right? So like, you know, and, and, and again, I think whenever we go into a building, it's important to make sure we, we co-brand with them. Say, so, hey, it's mm -hmm. at moment, hashtag moment, or, you know, yeah. so people, so they yeah. get pushed for doing something very progressive. Um, mm -hmm. You're like, wow, that's great. Because when we go into some the other buildings that the ownership of moment has asked us to do, we get it. And we created this, this uh, trend and or a blueprint and how it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we become a juggernaut and okay. no one can handle what we do. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I want. I want us to come in like uh, like a wrecking ball. Literally just knock stuff over because this is what we do. Yeah. And uh, from a social media standpoint, obviously you get that, but obviously connecting social media to live media. Yeah. So I think it's important from an infiltration standpoint because what I want everyone in this, in this meeting to know now is and for those who are going to be watching the recording of this, really start trying to down right now. Because my point is, is this is this is only one pillar. Again, I want you to understand how there's bleed over between this pillar and then the other two that are going to come. Okay, because we're going to be doing, uh, I guess you'd say, these learning meetings uh, periodically, especially when we're we're launching these things, right? Um, so there will be bleed over from what your strengths are here in terms of the home moment and the luxury residential live amenity thing going to link over into the corporate health and wellness. It's going to link yeah. over into the physician's doctor's office, things yeah. that we do. Okay. Yeah. So I want you thinking full circle because this is going to take you to the next level, right? So that ownership is going to be yours that you want to eventually be able to teach someone else to do. Yeah. Okay. Cause the goal is to free you up. So we're now going to create a second you, a third you, a fourth you, so that now you get to go and go to Cancun instead of bust your ass for 90 hours a week. Yeah. Okay, so please continue. Sorry. Yeah. Um, no, that's perfect because everything we want to do, we want to do it um, like strategically so that you can teach someone how to do it next. Yeah. So I've been kind of doing some of this stuff um, the last like, couple of weeks, meaning uh, like – getting all the emails out, like doing all of, like the flyers, like doing all of, like the media stuff, making it pretty, mm -hmm. like Absolutely. You know, keeping it organized, outlining, um, yeah. writing things out for people, uh, making sure we're all on the same page. So there's a little bit of back end stuff. Maybe, oh, sorry, I, I couldn't, I wasn't sure if you guys could hear me. I was also thinking um, just from, everybody like you said earlier having their own niche maybe we can create like some sort of cohesive uh onboarding system um for everybody moving forward something it doesn't have to be like uh black and white i guess we can always tweak it and it could be different for each person but just to make sure that when we are bringing on new people that they do have like very clear expectations set and an idea of everything so that there's nothing um well i guess no stone uh, left unturned <laughs> i guess um, and then also, I'm sorry, what? No, I agree. I think um, as we're continuing to do this, so we're still like in like the baby phases of it. Yeah, like, right. Oh, okay. We really want to get as many ideas as possible, and um, we're still going through it to be able to write it down. So um, yeah. I definitely. Baptism by fire. <laughs> it really is. You know, we're learning to see what, what has to happen by. The actual implementation. So that's why we're bringing people on. So right now, the you know you're right. We need to capture this. And that's why we're doing this. And that's why when you when we get to the the next level, you'll start or next level actually the next part of this meeting. You're going to really see how I process map this out for success, so that expectations are very clear. So then all mm -hmm. we have to manage our expectations on are on our own strengths. So how they piggyback off one another and how we can just literally uh, do handoffs within the relay race in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. So, um, yeah. Just while the you know eight of us are here, I would like to kind of come up with things. We're gonna at the end of the meeting, we're gonna actually go through our calendar and then all of our specific calendars for the next six weeks. 
So I do want to see some like actual things that you can, you know, do with us. Yeah. Um, so for me, I think of like being there with us at the pop-ups to kind of document it for us, mm -hmm. um, meaning like pictures and videos. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we are starting a Workout. challenge and workouts with Moment. I don't know if we would want to do like a Facebook group we need to. for them or something like that. If we can yeah. kind of have you lead that, oh, yeah. that way we can have you teach someone how to do it in the next building and the next building. Mm -hmm. So um, just a question for your pop-ups, um, like the one coming up tomorrow that yeah. you have yeah. set, are you offering, are, are you having like a sign out sheet left and then offering any sort of, um, I guess, incentive with, with them signing up for a program or anything right then and there? Um, right now, our intentions with the meet up, uh, the pop ups have been really just for people in that building to see our faces with and really Lord, no. connect um, the live amenity kind of brand to us and just knowing that we're always going to be there and seeing us there twice, three times a week. Um, as are we, what was that? Are we obtaining any of their um, like contact information during those pop-ups? So we've been doing that more through our orientations. Um, so okay. In the open houses. So through the open houses and orientations, we're the one, on the yeah. floor of the gym. Right. And that's where we're providing samples and doing body fat analysis. Right. Getting more time their to information, talk to we have more time to talk to them. What we've noticed okay. is the pop ups in the lobby are really like fast. <laughs> like people are mm -hmm. either like running out they don't or want to be sold up. when they walked in. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're just kind of giving them a card or a little, you know, taste of um, some tea or just kind of like saying hi, like we're your new yeah. amenity, like just kind of seeing our smiling faces uh, just so they know who we are. And the word gets out. For example, Michael, who you met on Friday, actually found out about us through one of his clients um, and not necessarily us, right. which is pretty cool because, you know what I mean, like word is getting out about who we are and what we're up to in the building. So that's mm -hmm. the intention of the pop-ups um, for right now is just to yeah. be there, be seen, present. be present. Yeah. So then, yeah, so to, to continue with this then with Island, I think just uh, literally if the job description were to say, you know, social, social media, PR, marketing, that's what we do. Uh, we, in terms of step one, I think for the next, say, six to six weeks and then 12, 12 weeks, I think having a, a plan. What do you see us doing? You know, because yeah. I look at you as you're the expert in this. Like if, yeah. if someone were to ask, you are the director of. Okay, you would be the director of marketing, right? Because right. that's that is a very serious job uh, in many different ways, it's culturally in terms of what Chicago is, as well as you know nationally and so on and so forth, and subculturally within these buildings. Mm -hmm. So that's a tough thing. You're the expert in it. I didn't go to school for it. I know psychology and everything else, but you know how that rollout goes. Yeah. So I want to be able to look to Island for everything we should be doing and shouldn't be doing, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I want you to, to troll our, our social media and tell us, don't do this, do this. Yeah. Because, do uh, yeah. you know, and, and then tell it, okay, and then, and then kind of create what we should be doing. Yeah. You know, we'll be, in, in that regard, we're your foot, foot soldiers, right? Mm -hmm. how, how we can start doing things and what you think we should post on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, so on and so forth. Yeah. Hashtags. Like, and what hashtags. you want us to capture pictures yeah. of when we're out and about. Say, hey guys, get these pictures for me. Uh, we need to do something with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I think that'd be huge because you know that and that's your wheelhouse and you're very clever on that kind of stuff, especially like the way your mind works. And since you're in it, in terms of how the workout is and everything else, yeah. you really get it. So I think that's huge. Um, so I think your ownership in that. Yeah. I think, yeah, social media guru, marketing guru. I think that's what we look to you for. Anything okay. we do, our photo shoots that we're going to be doing, I, we need your expertise in that saying, guys, this is what's going to work yeah. versus what isn't. Mm -hmm. So I think being involved in that and, and really owning that is going to be critical because that is one of the things that is the unsung hero. The PR marketing yeah. uh, individual is never in front of the camera, but they're responsible for everything. Yeah. And I it's incredible. Yeah. Like but we will want you in front of the camera too. So we're going to we're gonna have to figure that out, of course. Yeah. But, well, I'll be ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I just yeah. So I think that's a great ownership for you. You know, yeah. so I think the next step is, you know, 
create a, a create action items for us for social media action items, mm -hmm. and then uh, count uh, social media count. Okay. You can also have uh, flyers go out for moment if they have any so that they can yeah they do nice. yeah. Like for their building pictures yeah, and stuff yeah and then like culturally too because a lot of people on social media they like to see a story yeah and when they see like a story they want to see, yeah especially like the millennial generation they like, yeah. like grassroots like operations and people who like aren't essentially like corporate if that makes yeah. sense right and so this isn't like very corporate i think like yeah. if we approach it the right way a lot of people will really understand the story perfect. and really really love it perfect yeah. i think that's great okay it's cool. good perfect. so then Okay. And then we'll go over dates and stuff at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any time you have a problem, I'll always just go out of there. We're going to get you out of there. Yeah, we're going to get you out of there soon. So then let's go to Kat next. Yeah. Kat, you there? Hey. 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 Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. So you and uh, Mira went through some goals once before. So, and I, I know uh, Mira knows a lot of those, so I think she can kind of pull that from you, and then we're going to start just like we did with Island, and then we'll go from there. Cool? Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. So, um, for you guys who don't know Kat, um, Kat and Alex met at a mattress store. Um, so <laughs> she sold Alex uh, his mattress, but one of the biggest things that I've noticed about Kat is, like, her energy and courage is, like, uncanny. Like, that's... I think two things that she is really strong in and she's a very determined individual Like she's gonna get what she wants to get um and Kat, when we spoke how to bring those kinds of strengths that you have of your personality into what we're doing um, a lot of it seemed through um, group fitness and really um, bringing more of a um like a mindset kind of twist to our group fitness. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I really love that idea of the group fitness. I kind of think that that goes into when you guys just talked about, you know, it being a community thing. Um, it's a lot easier for people. They feel a little bit more comfortable when it's like a community thing because it's, it almost becomes a social event. Um, and so you're less likely to miss a social event versus like, oh, I'm going to go work out one on one versus I get to go see some of my friends and we just happen to be going somewhere is where we're going to be working out. Um, and so I really love the, the concept that somebody can work out and they can listen, have all these muscles and they're really and you're super healthy. But how did that really better your the quality of your life? Um, outside of you just looking physically good um, because the truth is that only gets you so far and nine times out of ten I know for women listen we overeat because we're struggling with other things um, and so food then becomes that thing that we depend upon and so now we have all these unhealthy habits um, that relate to our health that really need to be addressed um, from another perspective so it may be a woman who recently got divorced and she's wondering maybe kind of like, man, I, I've gained 20 pounds. And so what if she had space um, and time to be able to discuss, like, listen, I'm really struggling with being divorced. Um, maybe she's coming to these group workouts and she finds another lady who's gone through a divorce. They get to talking. Maybe she, you know, has a conversation and she's able to understand, okay, listen, I, I had a divorce, but this is not the end of my life. I still have more life to live. So just kind of helping people from that mental and spiritual level too um even all the way down to little things that we don't think about like the unforgiveness the bitterness i mean that stuff makes us sick it's toxic it's toxic to our body um so yeah i feel like that's where i where i kind of fit in i would love to maybe like uh when, last time mira and i had a long conversation i was just saying uh, so like maybe three times a week um, you know, early in the morning before people go to work and, you know, something late in the afternoon after people have gotten off of work and just being able to have those sessions with them and it being set up to where people are able to express themselves and say, hey, I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with that. And they get a level of encouragement 
um, and how do they move forward with things in their life, even outside of the fitness, and then you work out really hard. And so now you feel even better than you would have with just a workout because not only did you address some some mental things or other problems in your life, but now you look great too. So you feel good and you look good on the inside and you look good and feel good on the outside too. Yes. So that's perfect. So Ken, that's exactly what you're going to be owning then because these people that sign up within these residential buildings, they're going to sit, be set up for coaching calls too. So they're going to be on a phone with you. They're going to be doing a Zoom with you. They're going to, you might even be asked to come in and do an empowerment meeting there in their conference room. But you will be, that is going to be one of the biggest assets that you have because it's now it's a, a different tier of what they would expect to get. So it's, it, this can be done anywhere. And you'll definitely see the benefits of that. So we'll definitely set that up so that you can be interwoven with all of that. Because that is exciting. That's a need. Um, before you go, can you kind of share it real quick with what, uh, how you see fitting in? I mean, obviously a massage therapist, but you're very well connected with these buildings and understand their expectations because they're luxury buildings. So if you can really quick kind of give that to us, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, um, one thing that I see for the, the portion of massage therapy playing a role in this is really providing support to each other, um, to each other department really, or, or, or uh, niche, um, playing support to group fitness, playing support to the nutrition, playing support to the personal trainers, um, and making sure that we are following um, treatment plans and creating treatment plans that support uh, the workout and um, the systems that you are putting the guests through as well. Um, just so we can create a, a, a well-rounded um, system for, for the guests to come through, um, to get into the game, make sure that they're getting their workout, getting healthy, but also um, maintaining their body so that they can continue and continue to grow. Perfect. So um, Emma has a lot of experience with doing pop-ups in different buildings. Um, getting her name out, like really being able to network. So I think that could also be a different strength um, that she can bring to the table Absolutely. because she has the experience in there. Um, so I definitely think that could uh, be beneficial as we're doing more and more of these. We're teaching new people how to be there with us. I think, Emma, you would be amazing to help us kind of grow in that area. Um, and of course the obvious that she can take up a whole area of wellness that we definitely mm -hmm. want we to missing. be partnered with. Um, and she has that background and, you know, expertise in that too. So, um, yeah. yeah, so we <laughs> have some dates that we have coming up. So she's going to have the challenge orientations um, set up in her schedule. So she can be there with us on Saturday and Monday. Yeah. Um, that mm -hmm. way Emma can be seen as a partner with all of us. Like right. they, people start to connect the two. Like they know like, okay, massage therapy and fitness mm -hmm. and wellness and health together. Um, anything else that we want to add for Emma? Before well, we yeah, the only thing then is we will be standardizing all this in a Google Docs so that if you're ever out there, like in the, in the building or whatever, that um, you can do an intake on the go. And it'll be very quick, you put it in there. So if you need us to follow up with them with something, whether it's a training or nutrition or orientation or body fat or nutrition analysis, we can come in there for you and you know the support's there. So it's a live document. So we all can just pop in and look at any time to see what's going on. And then mm -hmm. we'll be for you, obviously. Um, and obviously we'll be in communication on a regular basis, but it's always good to be able to pop in, let's say yeah. at the end of the night, you can look at a document and see what was logged in there for the evening so that tomorrow you have a great start on it. Because the idea is, is we can't let anything drop through the cracks here, not even one. Because mm -hmm. one could be the death of us. So it's about 360 degrees of support all the time. So we will be standardizing all of this and everybody will have access to the Google Doc. And uh, they will be able to be authors in it as well to add and, and, and make additions and subtractions as well. Um, so, and then and again, that standardized format can be taken anywhere you go, right? So for us, same thing. It doesn't have to just be moment. It would be me on the street or me at a coffee shop, so I'll talk to anybody. I have that access on my phone, and all of a sudden, you've got a lined up massage, or maybe Kat has a coaching call that now she can look and see, oh, got it. And then you can call, follow up with them to schedule exact times, or you just show up where you need to be. Yeah. So again, we're all going to be on the same page there because this is all about standardization because we will be training the trainer to train the trainer and so on and so forth. So 
a year from now, we will have a phalanx of individuals doing what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Okay. Yep. Okay, cool. Thanks so much. Okay, I'll see you guys. Okay, follow up with any questions if you have any. I will. I'll watch the rest of it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thanks. All right, great. So, Jerry, you're going to be up next. You know, so, guys, Jerry's going to be talking about now that we kind of know what we're using and what our goals are and kind of what our uh, strengths are, now Jerry's going to let you know how that's going to help us in the back end, right? How does Herbalife actually help us? How are we going to use Herbalife as our life's blood to do what we love the best, right, and the most? So that's what we're looking to do. And he's going to explain it because he's, he's the expert in how this breaks down, whether you're a PM or you're a distributor and how we – can start from zero to your retirement process, right? Because this is, a, I want you to think of a lifespan here rather than just a blip on the radar, okay? Yeah. Cool. So, um, so you guys, with what we're doing here, what you guys are currently doing in business is going to scale up no matter what. Like what Alex is already doing with what we're doing with these buildings, he's going to end up being more successful than he currently is. He's going to end up making more money. Uh, Emma's going to get more massages. Personal trainers are going to get more personal training clients. But the key I want you guys to get with that is what you guys are currently doing right now, the more successful you become, the less time you have for yourself. Like right now, Emma's dream is 10 massages a day because she's making tons of money. But if she's doing 10 massages a day, she has zero time for herself. So this Herbalife piece is the piece that's going to get everybody off the treadmill or the hamster, the, the hamster wheel. Yeah, treadmill in our business, right? <laughs> um, and that's why I got into this. I got into this because I knew that if we had a certain group of people all doing something like this, we could create an environment where people could stop uh, being in the grind all the time. Um, so, and also, this is the main thing I want you guys to get from this. When I started doing this over eight years ago, we had, so we have three groups of people in our business. We have fans, we have PMs, which are really customers. And we have distributors, or you can call them health coaches. These are the three groups of people that we're going to be attracting into our business, okay? And by far, number one, by far the most important is fans. If you have hundreds of fans, the rest of these things are gonna take care of themselves. It is so easy to attract a fan. It is so easy to walk up to somebody on the street and say, hey, would you like to come to my free workout, or would you like to come to my free body fat touch, or would you like to get a free wellness profile? It is brutal to walk up to people on the street and say, hey, would you like to be a distributor in my company? It's brutal. That's what networking people are doing. We're not going to do that. So when we started doing this, the way we attracted fans is we did 12-week weight loss challenges where people came in for an hour a week. They did weight loss challenges. We could get 30 people every 12 weeks. That's only 30 fans every three months through a weight loss challenge, or we would run Craigslist ads, or we would do face-to-face -face and things like that. Because we didn't have very many fans to work with. So it made the rest of this process really difficult. Okay, imagine a building like this one, um, Optima or Moment. There's a thousand fans in each of these buildings. We automatically have a thousand people that are probably gonna wanna join the challenge, come to a free workout, come to a barbecue, come get a free 10 minute massage, come get a free wellness, um, you know, profile, sample some tea or shape for free before or after the workout. I want you guys to get that moment is a thousand fans sitting there. Mm -hmm. And a ton of them are going to want personal training. Great. People that like doing personal training on our team, they're going to do better than they're normally doing. People are going to want to get massage therapy. People are going to want to get meal prep. All of that stuff. That stuff's great, but that's more, that's more hamster wheel stuff. Okay. The more fans that we can attract, and that's why this thing is brilliant. There's 9 million people in Chicago. And no one's doing what we're doing. So we've got a massive pool of potential fans. But each one of these buildings is a thousand miles. Okay. And if we get, if we nail this thing with moment right, we're gonna have access to 70, 80, 90 of buildings like this. We're talking 70, 80, 90 thousand fans that we have access to as opposed to 30 in a weight loss challenge. And I want you guys to get that. And that's just high rises. That doesn't include McDonald's headquarters and Amazon and Google and Groupon and WeWork and every other company. You guys, we have so many potential fans in this city at six. So I want you guys to get the difference. I got all the way up in the company running weight loss challenges and Craigslist ads. We didn't have Instagram. We didn't have Facebook. We didn't have social media. We didn't have workouts. We didn't have 
nutrition clubs, anything. And not, and up until now, we've never had concierge fitness. Yeah. I want you guys to get how that could scale up if that happens. Because the majority of the people are going to be fans. 70, 80% of the people are going to be just people that want to come in and see what we do, work out with us, whatever. We're going to have about 20%, maybe even 10 to 20% of the people that want to be preferred members. A preferred member is someone who liked the tea and decides that they want to buy tea every month. It's someone who did a three-day trial and they want to do, you know, a few days a month. It's someone that, like my mom, who's been on a nutrition program for almost nine years, and they just want their shake and their aloe every morning. These PMs are going to be people that not only do they like the tea, they like the shakes, they like the aloe instead of the Starbucks and the muffins and things like that, but they also like us. They're, they're just, if, you're, if you're providing group fitness for them, they're going to want to buy the tea because they're going to get a better group fitness workout. Uh, this year alone, I'll do over a million dollars just in preferred members. Somebody buying a tea, mom buying a shake, mom's friend at church buying an aloe, right? I mean, that's 110000 in income. Just from this group of people. Just from the people that are gonna come down at moment and want a tea, a shake, an aloe, protein bars, whatever, lift offs, things like that. And when you've got a thousand people in a building, start imagining how many of these we're gonna have. I'm guessing 100 to 200. Right? Seem about right? That's about right. 100 yeah. to 200 people in each of these buildings that are not only gonna want personal training and massage and all that stuff, they're gonna want meal prep and all that stuff, they're gonna want one on one coaching, but 100 to 200 of them are gonna be preferred members. But here's what's key about preferred members. Every preferred member has their own group of fans. Yeah. You know, the people they went to college with at Ohio State and Columbus or whatever. Every single one of these 100 to 200 people has the potential into turning into however many people we want that. Does that make sense? Yeah. And out of the, this group of people, you're going to have a very small percentage, maybe 3% of people that actually want to be coaches on our team. They want to make $300 a month. They want to make $1,000 a month. But I'm telling you guys, if you start with 1,000 fans, now we're talking 30 potential distributors in every one of these buildings. People like Mira, people like Alex, people like me that actually want to make a little bit of an income, get off the hamster wheel, all of that stuff. Times that by 80 buildings. When you start doing that, and then it's exponential what your, what your weekly earnings would be. Yeah. And here's, what's gets, here's what gets crazy about this. Um, over my eight years, um, out of all of these distributors that I found, and maybe it's a couple hundred over eight years, I have eight that are serious. You guys, and Emma, Kat, I want you guys to really get this. I have eight mirrors over the past eight years. That's only one a year. Doing it the way I was doing it before. Okay? These eight distributors have 3,000 other distributors who have about 30,000 PMs, which is probably, I don't know how many more PMs and fans. That this whole thing, by doing this process, is about four to five million dollars a year in business. It's a million dollars in income since 2014. And you guys got to be thinking that way, because I did that with Craigslist ads and weight loss challenges. We're talking about potentially 80 buildings in Chicago, and you guys are the first ones walking into this whole thing. I wasn't even the first one that walked into weight loss challenges and Craigslist ads, right? It took me, and here's how it looked, just so you guys can understand. It's important that you guys understand the timeline for this. And it's really important. This is my first year of doing this. In my first year of doing this, I found a couple of distributors, I found a couple of dozen PMs, and I found maybe a few dozen fans. At the end of a year doing this, I was making $2,200 a month, right? You guys can see the growth here. It's not very much growth. Right, but this business is stackable. This isn't like personal training where you bring on one client and then you bring on another client and you lose a client and then you bring on a client and you lose a client. This thing's stackable. Every single time you bring in PMs, some of these PMs are ordered forever. Some of these fans just keep bringing PMs. They just keep bringing them over and over and over again. Some of these PMs are gonna bring you distributors. Some of these fans are gonna bring you distributors. I'm telling you, this thing is gonna get really crazy year two um, at the end of year two, I was making 4,500 a month, part-time doing this. You see the growth? It's still minimal because it takes a little while to get a ton of fans. The way I was doing it, it took a while to get a bunch of fans coming in, right? But if you're talking about 30 fans coming in, you can see why this growth would be slow. 
if you're talking about a thousand fans coming in per building, mm -hmm. yeah. you guys can start talking, taking a look at what these numbers look like because it's going to start looking like this. Year three, at the end of year three, I was making eighty two hundred a month. And at the end of year four, it was twenty two k a month, and then this year it got up to forty one k a month. Okay, I want you guys to that's cash. That's not what he's bringing to. That's income. That's, guys, what that's, that's, that's what he can That's income. So, like I said, over a million dollars since 2014. Because I got to this point right here, right? This is the point that I got to. I think this point's going to happen in 18 months. Where it took me um, 52 months. This was a 52-month period. This is why I'm getting geeked right now, not because I've had liftoff. <laughs> I think this, for you guys, is going to happen in 18 months. Not this summer, but the end of next summer. I think a wave of you guys are going to hit this. I think there's going to be a wave of our distributors, health coaches, whatever you want to call them, that hit the 20, 30,000 a month club. Absolutely. That's what I think is going to happen. I think that this thing is going to be a time machine based on how many people we have access to, the fact that no one's ever done this business model in Chicago, period. The fact that we've already got this much traction with this many quality. Kat, Emma, Kat, TJ, Jeff, you, Alex, I mean, that's not normal. That took me 16 months to get one island in my business. Yeah. And it took me 32 months to get four more. I mean, at 32 months, I had four of you guys, and there's already four of you guys here. And I really want you guys to get clear, and I hope you guys are going to watch this recording, but I want you guys to get clear that this, this part of the business is going to happen. It's going to happen in the next two summers. I, don't, I can't even predict what it's going to look like, but there's going to be a whole group of you guys that have not only yourselves making multiple six-figure incomes, but you're probably going to have team members. He's going to be making a multiple six-figure income, Alex is, but I guarantee he's going to have multiple team members that are making that as well. And here's the kicker, you guys. I stopped working January 2013. That's the kicker. This thing grew without me. I stopped working right here. I stopped bringing in fans. I stopped getting brand new uh, preferred members and customers. And I stopped bringing on new distributors until this year. This thing went without me. I get a residual income every month. I haven't left my house today. <laughs> I mean, it's nice here. You guys get that. But I haven't left my house today. And I just want you guys to get from a vision standpoint what this is going to look like. Not to mention, we're going to have shitloads of personal trainers making tons of money from that part of it. We're going to have tons of people getting massages. I mean, this is just going to be a flood of people who want massages, meal prep, all of that stuff. But here's the other thing. On top of this, we're going to be opening up our own facilities on top of that. And that's more fans coming into more locations. You know, the ones that actually want to leave the buildings, you know, unlike me today, and go out and, and go do other things. We're going to have fans pouring into our other locations, and you guys have access to that as well. We didn't get our first location until my second year of doing this. We got our first nutrition club right around here in my timeline, and that was just a small space a little bigger than this apartment. Not 7,000 square foot gyms and locations all over in Hyde Park and Beverly and Lincoln Park and all of that. So I just want you guys to get that. This wave's coming, and here's the other thing that you can't see right now. This wave is also coming. I've just never experienced it, so I don't know what that's going to feel like, but this wave is also gonna happen as well, and I think that's gonna happen right about here. I think this thing is just gonna absolutely blow up. Um, that's about it. I just really yeah. want you guys to understand that it's the Herbalife piece, because it's, it's going to be hard for you to keep the same 100 massage therapy clients over the next 40 years. But it's not going to be hard to have 20, 30,000 people from this whole webbing of this whole network drinking green tea every morning or drinking shakes or drinking protein bars. I'm talking about tens of thousands of people consuming products every single day. I'm telling you guys, you'll get paid for the rest of your life on this. And when you go, your family's going to get paid on it as well. I'm not talking about residual income. I'm talking about residual income that turns into an asset. This is where your guys' freedom is going to come from. When I hit 8200 a month and didn't have to work anymore, that's when I had freedom. When I didn't have to show up anywhere at any point ever again, and it was more money than I made in corporate, that's when I had freedom. So for you guys, it's somewhere between 18 months and whatever as far as your freedom from the, the hamster yeah, wheel. Absolutely. Cool. Did I miss anything on that? No. That's oh, the and by the way, the, these, fans, these fans thing too, Imagine what that's going to be like with this huge um, uh, pool of fans that we have in Chicago and we start specializing in social media. I didn't have an Instagram account until two months ago. 
So I didn't, I didn't even create any, I don't have, I don't get any, I've never gotten a distributor from Facebook or Instagram or social media or boosting or, or, or uh, Amazon ads or any of that stuff, Google ads. I've never gotten a single one of these guys from that. Imagine if we've got a pool of thousands of fans and we're effectively doing social media in this area. You're gonna have, you're gonna have getting distributors and fans and team members all over the US, not just Chicago. Add another whatever to this thing, you guys. I don't know what that looks like. So, cool, did I cover that good? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, that's, cool. That's, that gets me jacked up too. Yeah, I'm jacked up right now. But I want you to understand too. So if that didn't make you excited, hopefully this next piece is going to because understand that what he just described to you is just one of the pillars. We still have corporate that we're going to go into, which is a completely different pillar. We still have physicians, private practice offices that we're going to get into. Now they're not going to be as so corporate can be uh, a game changer. Uh, private practice stock, uh, offices aren't going to be as big, but again, it's still yet another pillar. So these are just going to, I mean, again, we don't know, <coughs> but it's not going to be very long. As long as you're willing to put the hard work in and burn the candle at both ends, I promise you will be worth it. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed on a daily basis. I'm not going to lie to you because I do wear several different hats. But there's one thing you know about me. If I make it, you're going to make it too. That's what I want you to understand, okay? First and foremost. Now, if that part wasn't enough, now I wanna go through this with you. This is the exact how to, how we're gonna do this, um, how we're gonna roll it out, and how it's gonna start making sense. So we're gonna go through this PowerPoint real quick. So, um, what was it? Let's play. I'm sorry, I don't see it. Okay, so this is the how to guide, right? And again, luxury residential live amenity. We are coining that term, live amenity. That's ours. We are a live amenity. We are human beings coming into a building, representing health and wellness, delivering things that they would literally have to get in the car, drive somewhere, and go to, or walk to. Now we have it all there. Not, not only we have it, we have the best of the best. We have brought popcorn into their apartment, okay? This is what we do best, okay? So... Uh, is that right? I'll yeah. That. Okay, so business model 101. We intend to live to deliver 360 degrees of wellness to residential locations and luxury, luxury spaces. Furthermore, we are able to bring this live amenity into these buildings free of cost due to our infrastructure and the talent we have under our own brand. That infrastructure is the Herbal Life brand, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We're able to do this because we are getting paid on the back end regardless. Okay, exposure to the residents is more than enough payment as it uh, delivers consumers of product, individual programs, as well as potential distributors and coaches. Never communicate our herbal life model to these residential buildings. That's not what we do. We are a health and wellness consulting company. We are not an herbal life company. We just so happen to use herbal life as our nutrition supplement company to help support what we do. And it just so happens they pay us handsomely. Okay? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay? So, what is a live amenity? An implementation that delivers an exhaustive inclusion of the amenities uh, on site or campus of these residential buildings. So, saunas, hot tubs, uh, steam rooms, uh, maybe they have a fire pit element, maybe they have a water element, um, whatever, a gym, whatever they have, we bring 360 degrees of that. How do you use that? How do you use these amenities um, to benefit your health and wellness after workout, before workout, after work, you know, to de stress? Are you a new mom? Maybe there's some cool things you need to learn about. Did you not? Did you know you shouldn't be going to a hot tub because you literally are going to be boiling the baby? Uh, there's little things that some women don't know, and it's not because they're stupid. It's because there's it's new. Okay, there's things that we all do when we're new to something we do it wrong, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of value that we bring to this table that is going to be above and beyond what they expect. Okay, so I want you thinking that way. A lot of amenity is an extension of the existing amenities through human elements such as personal training, seminars, open houses, pop-ups, cooking demos, orientations, challenges, group fitness, and the community aspect, right? And now with, with people like Emma, massage therapy, right? So we are all encompassing, okay? A lot of amenity is 100% about presenteeism. You're going to hear me say presenteeism pretty much for the rest of your life now. Because presenteeism is literally us being present in the moment, not just sitting there being a warm body, present in the moment. Being, being there for people, 
answering questions, actually being there on the campus, uh, not saying we're going to be somewhere and not. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you what, guys, we are, we're the founding members of this. People don't show up and aren't doing this presentation. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. I'm not dealing with it. You're gone. Because I will not have that happen. I won't. So the people that are going to be running these buildings are going to be owning these buildings. Each building you have to look at is a franchise. Yeah. And it fails. It's that person who owns it, their fault. And it sucks because we're a team. So we can't have that happen, especially in the initial rollout. This is beta. And in Chicago, you have one shot at this. People will hear that we're doing this and they're going to be excited about it. And they're going to be waiting for us to fail because that's what haters do. Haters want you to fail, you know, so they're just waiting for that. So we can't give them that opportunity to watch us fail. So it's a valuated proposition for a resort style living. All of these buildings have that ability to be a resort style living, even if they're not pushing it that way. We now have the element. We are literally picking up a wellness center and dropping it on floor 10. That's what we do. We literally bring ourselves there so they don't have to do anything but stay there. And that's super helpful for a lot of people because guess what? In order to live in these buildings, what are they doing? Working. They're on their own hamster wheel. Yeah. So being there makes it that much more feasible. And of course they want to spend money with us because we're giving them the ability to feel better, look better, sleep better, recover better, and be a better them. Okay. How to acquire properties. Okay. So we have moment and we have plenty of others, right? But if you guys want to go out there too, because again, this will benefit you. Think about it. You'll have a whole building under you. That's huge guys. And, and again, we're stacking the deck. So you're coming in here and these people are going to be going under you guys. Like, so this is easy, but we want to take it to the next level. So, it's important to stick to luxury living condo kind of apartments. We don't want to go to, you know, a building that just doesn't have that feel because they're not because it's going to be a waste of our time. Won't have the amenities anyway. Yeah, most of them won't. So introduce yourself to management regarding what we do, and then we would like 15 to 30 minutes of their time to have our partners present our customized offering to their decision makers. Okay. Be careful to explain that it will cost them nothing in detail the way it is free to them. Do not, because guess what? Free in the business world is scary. And it's, yeah. just, it's, an, it's very off-putting, so you have to explain that to them. Uh, we take payment through exposure to the residents and through any one-on-one -on -one programs, okay? They're gonna need to know that because they may have something already. Plenty of these people in there, and I went in there anyway, and they said, yep, we'll take that meeting. Why? Because it's a value-added proposition. What's their ROI? Pretty big when we come in and we deliver all this free, That's but right. they're reinforcing who they are and what their brand is. Let them know we offer uh, what we offer and give them a brief overview of the offer. So let them know that uh, we do a needs assessment based on what they have, how they do it, uh, what space they have, what culture they have, um, and let them know that we'll, we'll do everything that's measurable and we'll take metrics on it. So we will send them data on, on uh, people who are taking part in this. So there will be a value added in that, right? Because the people that are gonna be using these amenities and using us, they're going to sign next year and next year because why the hell they leave? Yeah, yeah they won't. Everything. And again, those people are going to be people going, oh my God, my building's doing this. Guess what? Maybe they'll move there or they're calling us, hey, can you guys come and present to my management staff? Yeah. yeah. Now another value added proposition because we're coming in on the referral base. This is going to happen a lot. It's like how TJ and Jeff bought the mattress off you, Pat. They believed it because I bought it from you and I believed in you too. That's how it's going to work everywhere, okay? <laughs> Scaling the implementation. All right, this is very important, right? Because we're all very excited about this and we all want to go from zero to hero really quick. But understand three years is still pretty damn quick because again, these numbers, although great, I even think that they might even be higher than that in a short amount of time, but we have to scale correctly. One of my things, and again, the so for A and BTF, my motto has always been dream big, scale small, get there fast. Yeah, we're all dreaming here, okay? We have to scale there appropriately. So I mean bit by bit. We're going to achieve that, right? So we need to go to these buildings, do it the right way, and not rush. We will not take out another building until we have this one going and running well. Yeah. Because we need to be able to emulate it, and we can't emulate it until we know exactly how to work this one out, okay? Because we're not gonna, it's, it's contracting one-on-one, -on -one, right? I, I remember at KPMG when I was there, it was as soon as you sell one project, you're on to the next one. So you're over-promising, under-delivering. We will not do that. Not a chance, okay? So schedule an open house for the building, have a tasting, buy pet testing, business cards, sign-in sheets. Again, these are all going to be a, a, kind of a gut feeling, right? A visceral feeling when you're there. Sometimes they're not going to sign things. It all depends. 
set time for lollipop not free before you actually want to start you know the classes create class schedule based on the needs of the building set monthly challenges set the monthly open houses set monthly demos intake personnel to be on site regularly so they're getting information and data from those folks even when we're not necessarily there um, Record all residents who will take part in what we do, provide metrics for the building management to use for getting a finger on the pulse of their own residents, which they don't get otherwise. They typically only get it from complaints. This way, now they're getting it in more, more real time. So again, we're another value for them. So we're almost like an extension of their human resources division. Use social media to stay connected to all residents and promote the building lifestyle, right? So not just in that building, but Chicago, why? Chicago has not experienced what we're doing at all. And this is the first time they're going to, and Chicago loves to feel important. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I want you guys to focus on. Regulations. This is the key. This is, this is our team members, our own regulations, because we need a governing body to this. All programs should have nutrition built, in with, uh, built within them, meaning Herbalife products. Otherwise, our system fails, right? I mean... That's what, you know, every program should have someone on nutrition anyway. This process builds a legacy for all of us. All partners brought into residential buildings will need to be distributors and put any clients on products in order to keep 100% of their individual client packages. What I mean by that is if you're going into a building, why the hell would you not want to be a distributor? We can't put you in there because there's no value added for you. Um, so that is going to be one of the caveats. No product equals removal of partner and building. You're not doing this. You have to go. It's just not working out. And, and that may happen, okay? But again, I'm not trying to be a jerk. But again, as, as excited as we can be over here, we have to be real over here too, okay? Because that's where success models are built. Um, so, okay, must be on site daily. We have to be there. These buildings, someone has to be there. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure that we're always available. Must have a coach on site daily to do intake or just to put people on nutrition program or sign them up for a program. That person will have the building put under them as residents sign up. So again, there's a huge benefit. There's no, we're not asked, the cool thing about this is we will never be asking someone to do something that we wouldn't do ourselves or haven't done ourselves. We're also not gonna ask them to do something that isn't going to directly benefit them financially and or exposure wise. Okay, so the follow through. No building will suffer due to the increase or acquisition of more buildings. That's what I'm talking about, the scaling, right? Each building is its own business. Each person or persons involved in this in the said building will treat it like an entrepreneurship or franchise. Um, if the building has around 1,200 people. Each building would be enough to reach in just six to eight months, and in a year, the sky is the limit. Excel, so use Excel tracking. Uh, so that's going to be our Google Docs is key. This format will be provided for all buildings in a Google Doc, so we can all view it live at any given time to see how the building is progressing. So. These are just some of the things that we want to be aware of, right? Involvement, classes, census, energy, vibe, buy-in, progressions, needs, uh, ramp up versus ramping down. Finding talent for spaces, right? So we want to replicate ourselves. We can't all we can't take on 70 buildings with just the eight of us. We need we need an army and a good army, not just anyone. So here's how we look for them. Each trainer will need to meet with the founding members, Mira, Jay, Jared, and Alex. And eventually, as you guys get more and more exposure, you guys as well. We will determine the best fit for anyone brought to us and introduce them to the system and training and development when it's appropriate. Uh, invite as many people as you can to meet with us as we will help determine best fit for them and help you get them in the business, PM or distributor, right? So have goals weekly, five people in front of us. I will make it happen. You just tell me, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. So Cap, think five people a week. You know, Island, think five people a week. TJ, Jeff, five people a week if you're around them. Um, you know, and then Michael will do the same. Emma, please, same idea. Because again, you never know when that one person might be a value added for our business model on the front of this, right? It may not just be, you know, for product. And I don't want you thinking that. I want you thinking building yourself and building the business. So think of those as individual side goals, right? Because those are easy. I talk to five, probably 40, 50 people a day randomly. Mm -hmm. And some of them, I give my business card to, just a, a hello on the street. And some people I buy a mattress from. <laughs> so hang on to this real quick because I want to uh, I want to get into this this piece here. So I'm process map theme, okay? And this is very very important because for anything to be successful, there needs to be a process map. 
Processes don't fail, people fail the process, okay? And if we don't know what that process is, then we will all fail. So each of these things in a square are part of a pillar of success. Each of these pillars, I'm gonna get on the other side real quick. So each of these pillars has a list, okay? So in psychology, when you're developing a therapeutic program for someone, you have long-term goals, you have short-term goals. But in order to reach the end result of achievement, you have to create interventions for those short-term goals. Think of these as interventions to achieve what's in the box here, okay? So connection to building. We need to create a relationship with management. We need to court them, okay? Get them to know you as the individual first. Get them aware of the brand. So who we are, what we do, what we look like. You know, we're not running around with pins, hats, and bright green t-shirts saying we're Herbalife. That's not what we are. We're coming in saying, we are a professional company that does health and wellness uh, consultations and implementations. We want to be consistent and persistent. Okay, uh, one minute for partner presentation. So we just one minute. Hey, let us know if you have time. You know, we, it's going it's to be very brief. Um, and then you know, bring me in for any meeting with Jay, Mira, and Jerry, and we'll kill it. Okay, so don't think all this rests on your back. You, you guys should start thinking about being in those meetings though, so you can start uh, hearing the energy in the, in, in, in the verbiage that we use in terms of the pitch, because you, you guys will eventually be doing this too. Um, and you're gonna, in maybe not exactly this capacity, but, you know, however you see fit, of course, but I want you thinking that way. So once we've done, so this is really a step-by-step -step to get into a building. So we've done the connection to the building. Now the presentation, there are 30 minutes max. There's, there, there's a PowerPoint we've already built. It's a go-to-market ready um, with the building and brand logo in the presentation. So we want to incorporate them into the presentation already so they're already thinking, yes, this is, I can see this, okay? Explain free implementation through uh, the resident exposure, right? So really explain why they're not gonna be paying us monthly, you know, uh, an actual fee, but they will be paying us through the exposure to their people within that building. Base it all on the needs of the building. What do they need? Well, we know up top what they absolutely need. They need us in there to help them, you know, have people feel healthy, feel better, so on and so forth. But they need us to really, I guess you'd say, highlight and exemplify what their amenities really are because they're not maximizing them. Otherwise, they're just there collecting dust. Really outline and highlight customization. It's going to be customized to each of the buildings. No one building is going to look like another. It's just impossible. Um, Set date for follow-up or action items. So after that meeting is done, some, hey, we'll follow up with you tomorrow, or you walk into the next day and say, hey, here's what we talked about. Here's our, uh, you know, here's our liability insurance we talked about, just so you see that we are legit. Let them know uh, how early or how soon we can get started. So we can, hey, we can start, you know, next week, which means we'll do the pop-up for an open house, right? Because again, all these things have been standardized. So we're ready to roll them out, right? Um, uh, let them know it will be a consistent group of us in the building. It's not going to be random folks in there because it's important that each building has a consistent group of people in there always that own it because if it's new faces all the time, people are not going to be comfortable with that. It's not going to make sense for them. They're not going to feel like they're at home anymore. People want to feel like they're coming home. Uh, if, if I can hammer it home a little bit better, think about when you start a new gym and you walk in there, it kind of feels weird for the first few weeks because you don't know anyone. You feel like everyone's looking at you. You don't know the layout of the gym. It's uncomfortable kind of. Well, that's how people feel when it's constant new faces in their building. We want to make them feel like it's theirs and we're just kind of, we're just kind of hanging out and we're there for them, but they know our names, they know our faces. Um, let's see. So we are all, well, uh, we're a wellness center that sets up in the building essentially, right? So that's what I want you constantly thinking of, right? We are literally implanting ourselves in there um, as a fitness, uh, wellness center, right? And, and being able to, roll this out in such a strategic way for them and consistently so and you know regularly every month they can plan on x y and z from classes to seminars to cooking demonstrations so on and so forth once we are in so now we're in schedule the pop-ups these are ready to go for any building they're standardized so we know exactly what to do and how they need to look you know we've got a poster board we have the tablecloth we have the tastings out there we have the flyers business cards we have in and we have the people that have been used to it right um very essential piece to this schedule the open houses so that means being on whatever their amenity floor is doing body fat testing 
uh, some intakes, tastings, handouts on myth busting things, assessments if it's there. Otherwise, just conversation. Let them talk to you through passing. Let them know we're available, what we're there to do. Let them know what's going to what they can look forward to in the future. Schedule the classes then. So now we want to start scheduling a cl the, the class schedule and putting things together that makes sense, right? Is it hit 45? Is it yoga? Is it Pilates? Is it defense class? Is it meditation? We're going to figure that out. And if they already have something in there already, then we don't have to replace that. We're just going to kind of supplement that or be a value added to what's there. Because pretty soon what's going to happen, we're going to be there so much, we're going to squeeze them out anyway. They're going to stop showing up. So we will have to take that class on. That's okay. Let them eliminate themselves. People always eliminate themselves. Because the idea is that we're going to be so consistent and regular and we're going to be building rapport and trust that people are going to be wanting to win them anyway. Yeah. You know, never speak ill of those folks that are in there though before us. Yeah. Always, you know, tip a hat to them. No problem. Schedule the challenges, create Facebook pages so that they can connect and stay connected with you virtually if there's any class changes or schedules on there that people want to look in because they don't get the email because a lot of people uh, get email sure. fatigue Yeah. because it's like a building will send a, a ton of this stuff and yeah. they're like, I don't care. But if totally. there's a Facebook thing, that means they've deliberately went to it and they can see it. Um, so schedule the intake. And uh, so that means that personnel is on site. So let's just say Island, you're at moment, you're just kind of there. You can work on their menu floor or on, you know, whatever you want to work on. You're just there. Mm -hmm. We let them know. They're going to know it's you because we're all branded. We're going to be wearing black, really sexy shirts and black pants, probably with their logo on it because they know it's you, right? And you're going to be there available, but you can work on other stuff too, yeah. but they have Wi-Fi there. So that's, that's a person. We're going to have people like that able to do that. So now all of a sudden they, they start saying, oh, well, she's there. Okay, maybe I won't see her today. Maybe we'll see her tomorrow. But they know you're there. Yeah. That's very key. So that's what I mean, being uniform on site. So we, and that's going to be a per site uh, determination. It could be us just wearing all black with maybe our brand on it of some kind. It could be us wearing black with their logo. It all depends on what they prefer. Mm -hmm. Customer service. This is what's going to either keep us in there or get us thrown out on our ass. Be available in person. Presenteeism, presenteeism, presenteeism. There's no excuse for not showing up. 80% uh, of success is just showing up, being there. I mean, that is it. I mean, it's ridiculous. Be active in the uh, Facebook page. Be active uh, member to their community. Be organized and prepared for uh, signing residents up for assessments, training, herbal life, potentially, organizations, uh, or orientation, sorry, nutrition, counseling, whatever they need, we need to make sure we're there for them to take that down so we don't lose them in the cracks because there should be about a 24-hour turnaround max for that. And again, unless their schedule doesn't uh, allow for that. Be familiar with residential cam uh, campus. So know where things are. Know what they have. Because if they start talking about a sauna and you don't know they have it, you might look a little silly. Yeah. Um, be active with management weekly. Make sure they know who you are. Just pop in there. Hey, guys. How you doing? Just like you would anyone else. You know, because they, the more they see you, the more trust they're going to have in you, too. So very, very uh, behavioral, of course, but we have to do that. Use Google Docs to keep data of residents' involvement. Very key that we do that, not just for them, but for us too. What mm -hmm. are we doing right? You know, what, we, what mitigation strategies are we gonna have to take care of uh, in the moment um, to make changes as it's happening? So we just have to keep our head about ourselves in that. Never beat herbal life in building. We're not herbal life in the building, never, never. We don't talk about it like that. We we are health and wellness consult. Uh, we are health and wellness consultants. We are professionals in this industry. We just so happen to use Herbalife as our nutrition supplement. Okay, so because people because the minute you do that, they're gonna think you're you're trying to multi level market them. No, we've multi level marketed the multi level marketing people. <laughs> That's exactly what's happened. We are not think of it this way, right? We are literally creating a multi level training and development for what our business model is everywhere else and we just so happen to be using that same model and getting paid by it by putting people on nutrition that's all we're doing that was good so that's what i want people to understand because everyone's gonna be afraid of this and that's not what it is we say hey yeah we'll get you yeah we'll, we'll, we'll create a nutrition program for you no problem here's what it's going to look like these are the things that i put on and i can honestly say i put it in my body and i don't put anything in my body unless i know what the hell it is especially being a two-time cancer survivor. I'm not going to. 
I'm very particular what I put in my body. Um, so that's how we look at it and that's how we package it. This is what success looks like. It may change a little bit here and there in terms of an additive property. It certainly won't, there will nothing be crossed out. We'll probably add things to this, but this is baseline right now. All of these things are baseline. We will not go in there and try to sell people on Herbalife. We sell them on what we're experts at. Yeah. Life. Okay. So that's what it is. And this is how it can be replicated in every single building in the city. And then we go on to the next one. And then on to the next one. And then once you take over Chicago, we can literally do this in any city nationwide. Yeah. But by then, we send people to do that. Yeah. Like we're going on vacation. Or we're taking our parents somewhere we want to take them. Or we're literally just finally being able to read book after book after book. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Or, Kat, you said you want to bring your dad and he wants, you want him to live here. All right, well, maybe you're just hanging out with your dad, grilling out on 32 or on, on the rooftop. But that's the idea. We do this and we do this right. You won't have to constantly be working at things that you don't want to be working at. Okay, so that's what this looks like. So now that that's all, I know it's a lot to deal with, but I think things probably make a lot more sense now than ever before, right? Yeah. No? Yes? Yes. Okay. So are there any questions, right? I mean, you know, in terms of like elevator pitch, business model digestion, reaching out to management teams for presentation, anything like that, like anything you wrap your mind around now that you might have a question on in terms of how this all works and how you are now in orbit with it. There's a key point that I want everyone to get is um, when you bring us somebody, they will always go under you and they can never not be under you after that point. Right. Anybody you put in front of us goes under you and they stay under you forever. They can never be taken away. It's important for you guys to know that. Perfect. Anything else? Anybody have any questions? Kat, you have any questions over there? Uh, no, nothing right now. Just wrapping my thoughts around everything. Sure, sure absolutely. You know, you can you can always go back and, and re rewatch this or re-listen to the recording of it. It might be helpful, but again, we're always available for question and answer. But okay. this makes a lot more sense than it did before in terms of how how again, let's be honest, how the money side of this really works, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we're doing all this work, but we're we when do our pockets start getting full, right? Now yeah making sense right because now now you can do if then statements if i do this then i get paid yeah. if i do this then this goes in my bank account if i do this now i start from here now i'm here and i hope that this also takes you to the next level where you say you can literally tell people no i don't yeah it's not much of marketing i'm doing i'm actually an implementation i, I do change management so mm -hmm. i'm doing I'm doing change management implementations i'll soon be doing it everywhere i'll soon be doing it in corporate america and I'll be doing it in doctor's offices as well as residential buildings. So the business model does kick ass. And again, I'll say this, and I say it almost in every meeting, go ahead, show people our cards because they can't do what we do. I literally don't care. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Because they don't have the people that are sitting in this room or on the other side of that computer. They don't. They, they may think they want it, but it doesn't work because they don't have the integral pieces of it. Nor do they have the ability, even if they had all that, they don't have the ability to do it for free. So they won't have that because so many people don't look at it that way. <clears throat> and so understand that you literally have your hands on something that you should be white knuckling and be jacked up about because every day should be different than it was yesterday. And you're, you're moving closer and closer. I've only been doing this a month, guys, and it is exploded. Like, this is just started. So you're getting in at the grassroots stages. Think of, think of like the whole, think of like the Facebook, how that all started. People that left are kicking themselves in the ass right now because they, they left it and they didn't stay. How about the guy that did the uh, artwork for Facebook? You remember, you know him? He's from California. He took his money, he took his payment in shares. Now he's worth over $400 million because he took his payment in shares. Because he came in at the grassroots and they said, hey, we really, we don't have the money for this right now, but we'll pay you in shares. You're coming in with shares now, the ability to have exponential value and growth. That's what this is. So understand that. I know it's hard to wrap your mind around that, but it literally is that way. It's like when I was 17 years old and I put $1,000 in Chipotle, maybe $2.1 million just for putting $1,000 in. Guess what? 
it wasn't by chance that I had to make that money because that's money I had to spend on my stem cell transplant. Two million dollars, one point nine nine five is how much my stem cell transplant cost. I had to pay that in cash before I went in. Okay, so there's no, there's no coincidence there, guys. This could be your answer to things that you never know are going to come down the road for you. Okay, this can be the answer to so many different things, and that's how it's going to work. You are in at the early stages of something that is literally going to lead to greatness. And it depends on where you want to go with that. But if you work hard and you're willing to put the time in and literally just get the word out to some people and follow this business model, there is no reason why you can't be here whenever you want it. See this, the one thing, this is a timeline, right? But guess what? You know what the years represent? How hard you're willing to work. If you want to work really hard, this can happen sooner for you. This is just kind of an average model, right? And this is a model based on things that didn't exist that exist now, right? Jerry did all this without this stuff. He did this with a wagon and a horse. Yeah. We have a GT500 right now that's going. Yeah. Okay, so we have the strengths for that. We have the ability to do things very different now. So think of it that way. And when you get tired, maybe replay this video because I get tired all the time. I'll, I'll be honest. I work a ton. I don't want to, I don't <coughs> want to. but I, I think of this every day and I think of freedom. I think of, you know, all the years that, you know, I put in of hard work and, and <coughs> my life, literally to be here now again, there is so much more powerful here than just that, right? And then just a business model. There is that, that, that factor within each one of us that, that has us here today for achievement and that, I don't know, it's just inspiration, right? So think of it that way. Digest this as much as you can, but I want you guys thinking when we're done here, what can I do for me? Be selfish. I need you guys to be selfish right now. What can you do for you? Because that's how I can do for you guys. And what Jerry knows, how he can help, and how Mira can help, and how Jay can help. Once we know how selfish you want to be about this, because again, I say selfish because that's it's lack of a better word, but your selfishness is going to provide so much for so many others, your own family members, your, you know. But I want you to be selfish and go after that. Because that's how we will kind of create this around that, okay? That's all I have. So thank you. I hope this really helps a ton. I know it helped me a ton because I, I wanted to get this all out there and now it is. And now we'll have something to kind of go to market with and, and teach and reteach and so on and so forth. So if anyone, if you have anything else, then I think that'll be it. That's good. Um, I do want to go over just what we're going to do sure. for the next six weeks. Yeah. Just so everyone can kind of put into their calendars. Um, a lot of like the elevator pitch, talking to management, a lot of the conversations that Alex was talking about, mm -hmm. the best way for all of us to pick that up is to actually hear them in person right. and start asking them. Um, so we have a few events already uh, scheduled um, with Moment, so that would be a great opportunity to do that, kind of get in the, the beginning parts of everything and really hear how we're saying things, see what we're doing, and then just literally copy paste kind of thing yeah um so you guys want to write these down these dates down tomorrow night so monday um october 23rd is our next pop-up okay so from 5 to 7 p.m okay next thing is our workouts so we have a workout calendar um mondays starting tomorrow, 6 a.m. At moment, we're doing like a HIIT workout. The first one? Mm -hmm. okay. Wednesday, 7 p.m. Thursday, 6 a.m. And Saturday, 10 a.m. So, um, for you guys, especially you want to start to get into fitness or start leading these classes, really get into that portion of it. It'd be really important and really great for you guys to come check it out, to be there to provide energy. Cause that's where, um, like Alex said, it's not like it's working for free. That's where we're going to start putting people under you. You start meeting people. That's, that's 
and then we're doing a transformation challenge for November. The orientations for that are Saturday, October 28th, 10 to 12 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. <laughs> at night. <laughs> and then um, Monday, the 30th, from 5.30 to 7.30. So put those into your schedules. Um, definitely try to move things around them if you can. Um, and we'll kind of help you out with what to say there, what to do, all of that kind of stuff. But I think those would be a great first step on the building portion of it. And then um, action steps, I think that'd be a great way to kind of like finish up. Um, I, don't, I know you talked about six weeks. Mm -hmm. Did you want to go over uh, was that more for like where people see themselves in six yeah, weeks? Yeah, so in six weeks, I think in six weeks we should have been, in six weeks we should be, by each one of you guys, we should be sitting in front of 20 people in six weeks at least. Um, and then we should also, so Kat, we should be going to a church and presenting there. Um, Island, we should you know, be sitting with people there. Island will also have a, her social media, her marketing thing. You like that? Yeah. You know, and then Kat, um, maybe if you want to put together within, you know, how we can, um, what you see in Hyde Park in, in that area in terms of, you know, these churches and these communities, stuff like that. That's a good six weeks, uh, a six week goal. I think right now, I think let's, let's just keep around six weeks because by 12 weeks, uh, everything should look very different for you guys. Uh, in 12 weeks, I want you guys to start actually looking at making good money and from a monthly standpoint, right? You know, mm -hmm. I, I, oh. the way that can happen is that people are, are, are coming to our table and we're getting in front of people and we're, we're I guess you'd say, saturating the market uh, in the right way, of course. This is my love first, right? And again, I'm not saying we're in there with a banner in a, in a band with Herbalife. That's not it. <laughs> I'm saying, tell them, ask, tell them that, you know, there's ways to change your life. You know, there's ways to do this, you know, and that, that just be the people in your, your natural circle, whether you work somewhere else now or not. I talk to people in, in the hospital all the time. I see them, they're they tell me, oh, I'm so tired. I haven't had a liftoff in my, in, my, in my pocket or in my bag. Here, take this, let me know how you feel. I give them that with my business card. Maybe they answer, maybe they reach out. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I'll see them again. I'm like, yeah, how'd that go? Give them a reason to, to want your help. Give them a reason or, and, and let them know that you notice. Yeah. Let them know that you notice that. People will really take to that. So again, think six weeks, twenty people each, um, and then think in six weeks that we should your talents, your your strengths in six weeks should be uh, on the road moving. So that's what I want you guys thinking. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yep. we have to do that, right? Because pretty soon we're going to have weekly meetings. Uh, once you guys get back from Cancun, yeah. it's going to be weekly meetings where there's, there are literally status reports. What's going on? What did you do? What did you not do? Because guess who has another process now for that? I do. Because if it's not working, I'll tell you why it's not working. You know, if, if for some reason you're like, man, I'm telling these people they're not showing up. All right, we're going to do a role play. Tell me how it went. It's going to be uncomfortable, but if it's uncomfortable here, it's going to be super easy when you do it again. I already have that ready to go, but we're going to think of that way because I'm going to make you guys better at life. Because you're going to make me better at life. So we're going to do it that way. I will help you out. And then if you think that you're, oh, I don't know why, I'm just not getting the infiltration in these buildings, or I'm not, I'm not getting these doctor's offices, or I'm having a hard time in corporate America. Guess what? Jerry's great at getting past gatekeepers. That's what he did for a long time in his life. I'm good at it. So I do in the hospital with patients and everything else. But I also, you have us as a team to help you get to the next level. Because again, I create a process map for that. So we know. <coughs> And we can figure it out what's not working and how it's not working. We say, hey, try this and let's go from there. So, again, we can create success metrics. So, I want you guys to keep your mind around that for the next six weeks. We will have another meeting in between that, of course, but uh, keep that in mind. Um, with that said, thank you. And again, reach out to any of us with any questions. And please keep an eye out for our messages, emails, texts. Uh, yes, we'll text you to say hi, but if we're texting with something in there, that means we really do need to hear from you. 
uh, because it is for your success. If I'm putting something out there, it's because I know what needs to happen and it's probably vital. So, um, yeah. So thank you. Perfect. Stop the recording. Perfect.